Back at it again. This time we're going to show you kit number eight. We use the squeegee technique with copper and moss green and our Ligari block stain to create really cool effects. Check it out right here at Ligari. All right, so we're getting ready to apply the epoxy. You've already plastic, you prepped your counter, you've already primed. So I've already mixed up my base coat and highlights. I don't recommend doing that. I, I recommend you guys mix your base coat and then when the base coat's laid out, you mix your highlights and add that. So since this is small, I got them both mixed up. I'm gonna be doing the copper base, moss green highlights, and then we're gonna incorporate our black Ligari stain for overlays, really cool looks. If we kind of flatten this off and just kind of coat, see what it's gonna coat, and then we'll kind of fill in the mist spots with our moss green, right? Because these are pretty big puddles, and the less that we have to mix that that moss green and blend it, the better it's gonna look. So again, just real quick, kind of just flattening it all off. We're gonna have opened up spots, and that's where we're gonna add our moss green at. So now we'll take our moss green, right? You guys are gonna have that mixed up. Once you get done with this step, you'd mix up your moss green or have someone mixing that. And then we're just gonna fill in all these mist spots. So I'll work this way down. So now all we wanna do is flatten everything off. We wanna make sure everything's coated all the way up to the edges and then that'll eventually start flowing over. What we'll do is we'll let that kind of flow over when we're done and then we'll take a brush and brush any spots where it's kind of not flowing over. All right, so the trick with the stain is to do a really fine mist and then we can always add to it. We can't, if we, if we get a lot of stain out there, we can't really take it away. So here's our stain. It's gonna come in a little sprayer like this. You'll just have to add 91% isopropyl alcohol to it. So you basically get like the stain base. Um, and then you'll put it in the sprayer, mix it up. And then these sprayers are cool because they keep spraying, right? Spray it a little. So all you gotta do is kind of just continuously pump it and it's gonna spray out there for us. So again, lighter the better. So just get a little out there and then we're gonna spritz it with the clear isopropyl. It's gonna give us some really cool effects. So, as you can see, I went light. If we wanna see more black, I would just spray it a little heavier. But I always like to go less at first, and then we can always add to it, right? You can't take it away.
So now we're gonna do the edges. We got product in here. We got a little in here. Get these out a little so it don't drip on my arm. We're gonna get a little product on the brush and then we're just gonna start painting these edges. And what's gonna happen is it's gonna let the product flow over continuously. Because right now we have like surface tension, which isn't letting the product flow over. And so by coating the whole edge here, it's gonna let that product flow over a lot better. All right, so now we kind of just wait, let this set up a little. It's gonna start, you can see how, how much that's flowed over already. It's really starting to flow over that edge. Uh, and we'll kind of let that flow, get them edges coated. It'll start to set up a little. And then if we have any runs or anything, we'll touch those up. And then we'll also scrape the bottom drips that way we don't have to sand those. Thanks for watching. That was kit number eight. If you're interested in purchasing a kit, click the link below and it'll take you where you need to go. Don't forget, subscribe to our channel, click that bell button so you don't miss any of our amazing projects coming up. We'll see you next time.